love box. Uh, what these are used for is to uh, do chemistry generally with air sensitive materials because everything inside of this is under nitrogen atmosphere at all times. Um, so again, yeah, since we use this for sen air sensitive chemistry, a lot of times you'll need to bring things in and out. But we keep a lot of materials in here just so that they don't uh, hydrolyze or break down with oxygen. And so we'll use this antechamber to bring things in and out of the glove box, and this supplies a vacuum as well as being able to uh, fill its atmosphere with just nitrogen alone. And so that way we can easily move things in and outside. So when using a glove box, a lot of times what you need uh, it won't actually be inside of it. And so we're going to bring in our vessels that we'll be using for the reactions later on. So right now this antechamber is under vacuum. So before you bring anything in, you want to make sure that the door on the inside is sealed if we get any air inside the glove box, it's uh, going to ruin a lot of things, so let's not do that. So you'll notice about this switch here is that when it's turned down to the left, the vacuum's on. So the first thing you want to do is turn it off by bringing it up. And now with this valve here, we can actually turn it to refill. And you want to do this slowly so that you don't uh, just increase the pressure too quickly inside. So what we're doing is filling this up with nitrogen. Uh, when bringing stuff in, of course, we want to make sure there's no air inside this tube. But uh, since we're only opening it, it doesn't really matter. Right, so once it's full, you can just switch the uh, valve back to normal. So we'll quickly open this. Alright, so when putting anything in the glove box, you want to make sure that you have all your materials in this one box. Make sure you push these way to the back because when you're inside the glove box, the gloves are a little restricting, so it'll be a lot easier to grab it. Uh, when closing these, you want to finger tighten it as much as you can until it won't go any further and give it another quarter of a turn. And so now we need to evacuate this chamber, remove any oxygen inside. And so we'll turn the vacuum on. We're going to leave it on vacuum for 15 minutes, refill it with nitrogen, and then vacuum it again. We're going to do that three times just to ensure that there is no oxygen inside the antechamber when we open it on the inside. Alright, so before we use the glove box at all, we have to repressurize the antechamber with nitrogen. So before you put your hands in this, you have to take off any jewelry or watches that you're wearing. And you also need to wear gloves, and this is to reduce the risk of tearing one of these gloves, which will not necessarily contaminate the glove box entirely, but you'll lose pressure quickly waste the nitrogen. And so now that the antechamber is filled with nitrogen, we can open it up. So what this is, is a slink, slink vessel. Uh, with your reactions, you're going to want to make sure you put a stair bar in this right away. We don't have one in here, so I'll have to do without. Next, you can screw this top on, and what this can do is actually seal the uh, vessel from any outside air. And once we hook up tubes to this, we can set it on a vacuum line that'll be talking about later on. And so inside of here, you can weigh out all your materials in the um, balance. You're going to make a mess in the glove box, there's no avoiding that, but that's not really a problem because you can clean it up afterwards. And so once you weigh out all your materials and put them in this with a stir bear, you want to get this septa in here nice and tight to prevent any oxygen from getting in once we take this out. So, we get it folded over like this. So now that that's on nice and tight, you can put it back in this box as well as taking any um, spatulas and whey paper and can wipe the fuse to clean anything up in here. So we can just place this back in here with everything in it. Uh, same procedure we use to close the door on the outside, we're going to finger tighten it until we can't anymore. 
give it another about a quarter of a turn. And then you can just come out slowly. Again, before we um, open this, we want to make sure that the door on the inside is sealed. Everything that's in this antechamber right now is just night open, so we can't open it without going through the vacuum process again. We want to uh, evacuate this chamber again, which we'll do three times, which we've shown before. Uh, so whenever anybody uses the glove box, they'd be sure to sign in using this 